And repeat after me. I do solemnly swear. Swear. To objectively and subjectively evaluate. Each barbecue meat. That is presented to my eyes. My nose. My hands. My palate. I accept my duty. To be a fifth annual Brasstown Valley Barbecue Throwdown Judge. So the truth. So Justice, Justice, excellence in barbecue, excellence in barbecue. and the American way of life may be strengthened and preserved forever. Two was the best. It was uh, very moist and very tender, and you smell the smoke and the sauce. It wasn't overtacked. Um, the, the last three were all about the same. They were a little on the dry side inside. Uh, number one was my favorite. Uh, my least favorite was number five. <clears throat> I'd vote uh, my favorite, number two. Taste, tenderness, spot on, excellent choice in sauce, honey and butter. Number three was a bit dry, so my least favorite. Uh, I would go with number two, uh, an excellent piece of chicken. And my least favorite was number five, which I thought was dry and pretty tough. So my favorite was number two, uh, like the spiciness in the sauce, um, it was definitely uh, very tender, very moist. Uh, my least favorite was also number five. And maybe this one, like this? No, nope, other way. Okay. And this one? That one. This way? The other way. That way? Turn around. Here you go. Out of the five samples, um, a couple of them were definitely overcooked, a little tender, uh, especially number one in particular. But out of all five of them, I'd say probably number four was my favorite. It had a good bite through, as you can see, as well as it had a good flavor profile. Um, probably my least favorite might have been either probably two or three. Uh, just a little, the flavor was just a little off. My favorite was number four. It was uh, well done, appropriately cooked, and really, uh, <clears throat> you know, just the right flavor. You could taste the um, you could taste the rib, and the uh, sauce complemented the rib. My least favorite was number three. It was uh, seemed to be a little undercooked and not so uh, perfect for my rib. My favorite was number four. It had the right amount of sweetness and rub. Um, great bite through, and you could taste the pork flavor. Least favorite was number two. It was overcooked and uh, a little too smoky. Well, I go against the group a little bit. I like number three better. I think it was perfectly done and a little kick to it, which I personally like. Number four was a close second, and it was perfectly cooked. I didn't have any bad ones, and so I can't give you my least favorite. Um, my favorite was probably number four. Um, I definitely enjoyed the flavor. Uh, least favorite was probably number five. The flavor profile was not um, something I was used to or enjoyed as much. 
three and four were close. I give the edge to three. It was just incredibly moist, flavorful, had a nice smoke uh, flavor to it as well. I did have a least favorite, and it was number two. It just, uh, at least the bone I had uh, was overcooked. It was pretty tough. Uh, but all in all, pretty, pretty decent plate of ribs here. Okay, my favorite in the pork category, actually the flavor from number three uh, and actually the flavor from number five were very good. Um, tenderness, they could have used a little work on, but basically those are my two favorite ones. My least favorite was uh, number four, um, basically because the bark of the money muscle they put in was had a, a lot of pepper on it. Just it was not expected and gave me an unpleasant uh, impact, I guess, on the taste of it. My least favorite was entry number two. I thought it was very sweet and uh, was not that tender. And my favorite was number five. I thought it had a good flavor and it was cooked just right, uh, just the right, just just tender enough. I didn't really have a favorite if I have to choose. Um, maybe number one, the tenderness was decent on it. Uh, number two, the flavor was okay, but the smoke was really, really strong and kind of overpowered the pork flavor. My least favorite was number three three and four, uh, three, the tenderness of my money muscle, it literally just melted down on my plate and fell into pieces. And number four, uh, it was kind of tough and um, the money muscle just had a really strange bite to it and texture. My favorite would have been number five, good taste and texture. And least favorite would have probably been number four, um, <laughs> Not much taste, and it was kind of tough. My favorite would have been number three. Um, with the exception of tenderness, the money muscle actually fell just completely apart, where the other bites were very tough and chewy. Um, least favorite would have been number four. Uh, very bland flavor and uh, harder chew. My favorite was number three. I thought it had good flavor and good texture. Uh, my least favorite was number four. It was a little tough, but had absolutely no flavor whatsoever, completely bland. Been a lot of sides with that.
favorite was definitely number two. Um, the tenderness was very good. The flavor was very good. Uh, presentation was was well. Um, least favorite <laughs> is a challenge, but I'm gonna go with um, number one, I guess, because it was very, very tough, undercooked, and very sweet as well, which is strange for brisket. Um, one of the other entries was overly spiced with peppers and uh, um, um, good grief. Uh, some other Mexican spices that that were very difficult to taste any beef flavor. <laughs> I have to agree. I thought number one and number five were both on the tough side. They were, uh, they, you had to really pull and tug it to get it to break. <clears throat> My favorite, I think, was the flavor on number four. I like uh, the uh, number five, fifth one is probably my favorite one. And then I was pretty impressed with the one, how thin it was. I don't think I've ever seen one that thin. And the worst one is number four. I spit it out. No good. Number five was my overall favorite. It had a nice sweet taste to it. Uh, number four was a close second. Number one and number three were somewhat tough, which uh, the taste uh, on number three was very peppery, which hurt a little bit on it, but it was still very good. It's, uh, the, uh, and number two was the last of the five entries. But then again, you know, brisket's one of the toughest things there that cooks have to deal with. So, but they all were fairly good, all of them fairly good. Okay, I have same kind of comments. Number one and five were extremely tough to me, seemed to be overcooked. Four, the flavor I thought was the best. Number three, as I said before, was uh, had way a lot of pepper, a lot of bitter taste to it after it was cooked. So uh, overall, not too impressed. <laughs>